Hi, welcome back. Um, today we're going to do a video on Natalia Goncharova, who's a Russian avant-garde artist. We'll start with this. So remove all of this. So a man riding a cycle through a cobbled street. Um, let's put um, depth of field, perspective, and we'll just leave it like that at the moment, just to give us a a baseline to work with to see if she actually um, affects the image or not. So that's what this is. This is just a basic. Um, prompt now she does have a she does have a, a painting called the cyclist so that's why i've used this just to kind of because i know she's created something with a guy on a bike before so yeah that's kind of what i expected for the first one so now what we'll do is we'll go art in the style of natalia natalia Goncharova. Uh, we'll make it 2D and um, Russian avant garde. Let's make sure I spelled that right. Yep. Let's see what we get this time. So I'm expecting bright colours, um, two-tone faces, um, maybe even some like Russian propaganda poster type stuff, but we'll see. Okay, so it's definitely picked up on her, her style, I would say. Um, these are the kind of colours that she uses, reds and yellows um, and blues. Um, this is, you know, me looking at her work in my um, art book. So yeah, that looks good. Now we could possibly add some other stuff. It says here, let's have a look. Post-impressionism, um, cubo-futurism. I'm going to add that. I don't even know what that is. But let's add that. It sounds cool. Futurism. I'm going to put, I'm going to put depth of field just to see if we can make them pop a little bit and maybe some perspective and what else hmm. yeah let's just leave it at that get another four of those so to me it looks pretty much the same as the other one really um, I can see the cobbles in the road really well in this one. And if we go to what Cubo Futurism is, so it was developed within the Russian Futurism that arose in the early 20th century, defined by its amalgamation of artistic elements found in Italian and French Atlantical Cubism. Yeah, that's one of our famous paintings. So, yeah, I can see some of that in here. So yeah, I think maybe she does work, maybe worth messing around with anyway if you're into that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoy this quick little video and um, I'll see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye now.